Experiment with telepathic communication by telepathically asking someone a favor to be understood or forgiven, perhaps to give someone permission to do what they want or need to do. This can be done by talking to the other, then con- t- t- the other than conscious side. Maybe I have a little misspell there. Sorry. No, oh. that's good. It's supposed to be hyphenated. Other ah. than conscious side. Ah, other than yeah. okay, I should be mindful of that. Other than conscious side of them to let them know what you would like to have happen. We are all communicating telepathically all the time. We are listening to one another at deep levels because we care. Use a consistent form of telepathic address when you contact someone. So first thing, number one, say hello and state your name. Number two, say, I would really like, I really appreciate if you would, and here you state your wish. Number three, communicate your gratitude and say, thank you so much or something. Number four, then formally close the communication by saying, I am now closing. I think the thing to be aware of here is that we are all telepathically communicating all the time. And why are we doing that? Because we seek to cooperate. That is the basis of telepathic communication. And there came a point where, and I think I've um, maybe told this story in some other interview, maybe, but I had a, we live out in the country where, 40 miles from the hospital and my daughter who was a nurse was on call and she was on second call and there was a need for um for the first call person to come in but we had this tremendous snowstorm and we had feet of snow and so the person who was on who was on call to be called first decided that she didn't want to go in it was too much hassle. So, and she was only 20 miles from the hospital. So they called my daughter and said, you have to come in. You're on second call. We did not have the driveway cleared. We didn't have the snowblower filled. We didn't have, we weren't ready for anything. And, and so uh, I, I think, you know, to shorten the story, it came down to me deciding let me just try to communicate with that other nurse and say that we we're really much further from the hospital than she is and it's going to take us hours to dig out we don't know if we can get down the road and we would really appreciate it if she would rethink her decision and go in because she was right off of a main highway which was being plowed and we are not so um so i sat down i asked my daughter what's her name you get the full name so that that name is your address in space. That is what allows you to tune in and communicate with somebody. And so I said, you know, I just said hello, and what her name was. I can't remember what her name was now. Um, and I said, this is Penny Kelly. I'm, you know, I, I'm really, uh, I would really appreciate it if you would rethink your decision to go in to the hospital because we have way too much snow and and we're not we're not going to be able to get out for hours yet and thank you very much i would greatly appreciate it i would be so grateful and i'm closing now and so you visualize the communication being cut and you let it go you just have asked for what you wanted direct mind to mind about 10 minutes later, she called my daughter and said, never mind, I'll go in. Out of the blue. There was no calling that nurse. There was no communication with her. Um, we have used that since then when we need it. Not because we're lazy, not because we don't want to do something, but when we really need it. And part of that goes back again to that need when you really need something you, the power of your emotion is amped up quite a bit and when you ask in that way just just clear humble direct and you know straight to the person i would say probably 99 percent of the time you're going to get what you need there's going to be a response in favor of what you wanted and and there's just when that happens 
I always stop and say, oh my gosh, thank you so much. <laughs> that, that is, you have no idea how much easier you've just made our life or my life or his life or whatever. So that's, that's telepathic communication. It's short, sweet, and very, very powerful. So practice it. Use it. It's, it's very good practice. <laughs>